Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you the synthesis of chivalryl salt, otherwise known as copper 1,2-sulfite dihydrate. An interesting compound of copper containing both the plus 1 and plus 2 oxidation states, this salt was prepared for the first time in 1812 by the French chemist Michel Eugène Chevreul. One interesting thing about this fellow is that he lived to the age of 102 years old in 1889. But I digress. This salt is formed by the aqueous reaction of a metabisulfite salt and a soluble source of copper too. Something to know about this is that when we're preparing chivalryl salt with sodium metabisulfite, one must take into consideration the possibility of sodium ions replacing some of the copper 1 ions due to the copper 1 and the sodium ions having the same charge, being plus 1, and similar sizes. If having sodium ions tagging along in your final product rubs you the wrong way, then simply forego the use of any sodium salts in the synthesis, instead opting to use potassium metabisulfite. In my case, I really don't mind having sodium in my end product, so I'll use sodium metabisulfite. Now, let's see what we'll need to make this salt. First, I have 4 grams of copper 2 sulfate, which you can see in this dish here. Secondly, I have 4.8 grams of sodium metabisulfite in this dish, which I'm going to combine in a 250 milliliter two-necked round bottom flask, which has one arm stoppered, while the other arm is occupied by a gas takeoff adapter, leading to a wash bottle filled with about 10% hydrogen peroxide. This serves to scrub out any sulfur dioxide which is produced in the reaction. This reacts with the peroxide to produce sulfuric acid. Now I'm going to add 50 milliliters of distilled water as the solvent for the reaction to the two solids in the flask. Initially we're able to see the characteristic green color of an as of present unknown copper complex in solution. This will be destroyed on heating, forming chivalryl salt. The solution was heated to near boiling, and during this time the chivalryl salt precipitated out as a brick red powder. Once the solution had become almost completely red in color, it was taken off heat and allowed to cool outside so as to let any remaining sulfur dioxide escape the flask. After a few hours, it was ready to be processed through a simple gravity filtration setup comprised of a filter funnel and filter paper. Once everything had filtered through, the solid was washed twice with cold water and agitated in the funnel so as to remove any soluble copper that was stuck to the product. Once washing was completed, the solid product was allowed to dry at room temperature overnight, which then resulted in a fine red-brown powder. All that's left to do with it is to do some tests with our product, and then pack it up. The first test involves the reaction of chevrol salt with hydrochloric acid. The hydrochloric acid I'm using has been diluted to around 15-20%. to 20%. When the salt is added, a white precipitate can be seen. This is caused by the copper 1 present in the salt reacting with the acid to form insoluble copper 1 chloride. This may redissolve depending on the concentration of the acid, and in my case, it did redissolve. The copper 2 in the salt reacts to form its usual green tetrachlorocuprate complex in solution. The second test I'll do involves adding the salt to aqueous ammonia. My ammonia has a concentration of 10%. Upon addition, the solution turns a dark blue color, indicative of a copper 2 amine complex. It's safe to assume that the copper 1 also forms an amine complex, which usually tend to be colorless in the absence of oxygen. However, in an open container, the copper 1 complex will soon be oxidized to copper 2. This was the synthesis and some properties of chevrolet salt. I really hope you enjoyed. If you feel inclined to, you may like or subscribe. As always, a very big thank you to my Patreon supporters. They allow me to keep making videos just like this one, and it would be so much more difficult if it weren't for their generosity. 
I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.